Hi, welcome to Calculated Keto. Uh, we recently took a week-long trip to see my parents and we learned a lot. So we thought we would share a quick video on how to stay keto while traveling. Let's face it, it's a lot harder to stay in ketosis while traveling. And so we have five tips on how to do that. That way you don't have to fall off the wagon and struggle to get back into ketosis after getting back home. Okay, so tip number one is to bring plenty of travel snacks for your drive or your flight, which is the most important tip for me because I associate good food with vacation. Like they go hand in hand for me. And so I think the most important thing is to bring food you're excited about. We like to do a combination of splurgy snacks that we either wanted to try or we've tried before and are in love with, you know, the things that maybe are a little more expensive. Um, and also snacks that we're used to, um, that we just like, that are staples in our diet. Something else to consider is you want to make sure you have a good combination of savory and sweet snacks. So for example, one of our favorite sweet treats to bring is these Lily's uh, peanut butter cups. <laughs> they're extremely expensive and so small, but they're delicious. Um, and then some examples for savory could be uh, having some like beef sticks or beef jerky um, or even like macadamia nuts. It's nice to have that, that blend of both savory and sweet. Tip number two, plan out your meals ahead of time. So fortunately for us, we were super spoiled when we visited my parents and we were given keto meals for every meal. So it was super easy for us to stay in ketosis the whole time. Yeah, we had lots of great stuff like steak and fish and things like that. That I didn't have to cook. Yes, So, but a lot of times you're gonna have to go out to eat, which is totally fine. Uh, you just wanna make sure that you know which places you're going to ahead of time that way you can look at the menus most places are going to have keto options right because they're going to have meat and they're going to have salads most of the time yeah so like you don't have to make it a big deal right. you know people yeah. don't have to like cater to your food eating exactly you don't have to be like oh we can't go there because i can't eat anything there right you'll find an option exactly. don't stress like for example on the way home we just picked up some wendy's right and it's definitely not the most healthy, <laughs> right? We just had like a bunless cheeseburger and a side salad, but it was it cheap. It tasted good. Yeah, it was it tastes great, it was cheap, and even though it's dirty keto, we stayed in ketosis. Tip number three, incorporate intermittent fasting. If you can. <laughs> yes, if you're physically able to do intermittent fasting, it could be a great time to do it while you're traveling because not only is it healthy, but it will reduce the time you spend cooking, right? Because it's difficult to cook on the road and also save some money, right? Because you're not spending all the money going out to eat. Um, and so for me, I like to intermittent fast because not only is it healthy, but it also just makes my stomach feel a little bit better. Whenever I'm traveling, I get really bloated from all the different foods that I'm eating. Um, and then I don't have like regular trips to the bathroom. And so it's just nice to give your your stomach a little bit of a break. But use wisdom too. Like if you're going to be hiking that day or going to an amusement park, you probably shouldn't be fasting. So <laughs> use wisdom and you know choose when you're going to do that fasting. Okay, so tip number four is to plan a cheat meal, which might be a little bit controversial. That's true, but you're on vacation, right? I mean, there's probably some places that you've wanted to visit or maybe get some dishes somewhere. Like my mom's chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> That's true. And so we like to personally uh, have one cheat meal, cheat meal for our vacation or our travel. But be adventurous. Don't do something or get something that you could get at home. You know, try something new and make it worth the cheat. All right, last tip, and this is for parents. Tip number five, don't forget the kids. <laughs> Not physically, don't forget their food. Okay, yeah, you are right about that. Um, the, yeah. entire, <laughs> the entire week before a trip, I'm cooking. Um, I plan out our kids eating for vacations pretty carefully, and so I try to make special food 
um, that, but that's still, um, you know, congruous with, with our whole food diet that we give them. So I'm making things like uh, muffins and we have this super yummy granola that we make and we use it as cereal. And so I bring that and so they still have lots of special food that they eat, but it's still staying in line with the way we eat so that we're not feeding them junk the whole time because it's super hard to rein them back in uh, if they've been eating junk the entire trip. Yeah, we've had personal experiences <laughs> where we uh, we went off the rails and then when you get back home they don't want to eat their well, normal fishies for a month <laughs> yeah they don't want to eat normal dinner right um, and so something that another just random tip that I really enjoyed as a kid that my parents did was they would have these little baggies of snacks and they would give us a map and they say hey when we cross these different landmarks they would give us our bag of snacks that was labeled and so we always looked at the map got involved you know, and, and every time we pass it, hey, I want my snack bag. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't uh, healthy snacks, right? And it had like fruit roll-ups and things like that, but just kind of a fun thing you can, you can do with your kids. So that is it, guys. That is our five tips on how to stay keto while you're traveling. Let us know what we missed, and we'll see you guys in the next video.